Hi guys, Random here, back with another World of Warships. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about carriers today. First off though, I would like to uh, give Lucian Corvin a shout out, who uh, sent me a message in game, um, telling me that uh, he's enjoying the videos, so first off, thank you ever so much for that, uh, you know, that kind of feedback uh, goes a long, long way um, to helping keep content creators motivated um <laughs> you know yeah I, I might sit here and play 10 games you might see one okay because i'm looking for stuff that's interesting doesn't matter if i win or lose but it's got to be interesting um so it can be a little bit uh grindy shall we say trying to get a decent video um so to get feedback saying that you're enjoying it makes it all worthwhile so uh, yeah hats off to you sir and uh, as promised there's your shout out um yeah <laughs> surprise um yeah today i thought we'd look at um not so much the ryojo but aircraft carriers in general um we're gonna have a quick look apparently they've done something to the economy uh, to make these less sucky to play okay um so what we've got uh captain skills wise aircraft servicing expert expert rear gunner emergency takeoff um yeah basically you can land and you can take off when the deck is on fire which isn't particularly realistic but um there you go uh, the penalty is when the deck's on fire there's a hundred percent um nerf to uh servicing time so yeah if it takes a minute of service normally it will take two minutes okay uh, and air supremacy which will give uh, an extra plane in each squadron um which is cool uh, so I think what we'll do, rather than go into a random battle, we'll go into a co-op. Um, so we are with similar um, boats that are out and about. Uh, concealment, 9.9, 28 knots, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter so much about the rudder shift. Um, it's got reasonable anti-air on there. Uh, artillery... You've got six 127 millimeter secondaries because you you know you don't have main guns. Um, okay, squadrons under command five aircraft per squadron four to five apparently. Um, hangar capacity is 48 units. Fighters uh, there's five in a fighter squadron and uh, one squadron of them. We've got four in top squadron and there are two squadrons of them and five in the bomber squadrons and there's two squadrons of them uh, yeah 38 400 hit points so yeah it's not too bad what we could do just to make it a bit more sneaky uh, is we could put on an ocean soul yep there we go pajama camouflage nobody will see me now will they no <laughs> let's jump into a co-op and let's see okay so first off it's a co-op battle so everything is going to be less okay let's let's consider that uh tier 7 negato where is that a that is a battleship aa is reasonable um war spite you know war spite and yeah again reasonable emerald no, uh, rotten anti-air and yeah, Fabuki, Kirov, etc. They'll have terrible anti-air as well. So we're we're not too bad. We're not too bad. We'll uh, load into the map here and look at it in all its pajamary glory. There we go. Amazingly stripy. And then obviously when we get that we can now decide where it is we want to go um i'm going to probably not tuck up behind there i think i might tuck up here 
uh, and then we will get the planes up and running so let's go here uh, with the fighters we will go here with the torque bombers and we'll go here with the, with the bombers yeah and we'll see how we do you know hopefully we won't um, insta die but you can see there we've got uh, five little dashes instead of just four so that's cool so uh, yeah as soon as we uh, we see the enemy planes um, oh, there's Kirov look so let's get those and let's go to town well in fact there's Furutaka uh, oh we got the emerald there um, yeah two, two you can take on them there we go right so these guys can come over here these guys can go over and attack him we're taking down some torpedo bombers which is always good and uh, yeah let's let's see if we can wreck this for attackers day shall we there we go we'll drop them down and drop some bombs on him as well ah oh, nice we got some hits awesome there we go he's down he's gone okay so so the cruiser's down um, might want to think about just speeding up a little bit here because obviously we don't want to get shot at that'd be uh, awkward so yeah we've still got a couple of planes left in our fighter squadron uh, we shot down six planes so far, so yeah, it's respectable. So we could send them back. Um, we've got these being serviced at the moment, so that's cool. Okay, so Group Four is ready. So let's get Group Four up on this Emerald, and we'll get Group Three on the Kirov. Uh, group 5 you can go and attack the emerald as well we'll see if we can get some fire damage on him and group 6 can attack him so we are detected and that will be by the emerald um, but that's fine you know so far we have 23,000 damage which is pretty decent pretty decent now we're over the top of that emerald so our chap here should be able to see those torps coming which would be nice so we get a hit on the emeralds that'd be good if we can nice okay so what have we got left we've got the war spite left uh, let's go here and we'll bomb the war spite we've got these guys we'll go for the Nagato actually let's see if we can pull him back and we'll use the Kirov's anti-air um, and our fighters should hopefully be able to engage these guys so we'll go and hit that and we've got our torpedo bombers which I'm going to put onto the war spike So yeah, we got a nice uh, got a fire on him, which he will put out straight away because they do that uh, for some reason. So let's see if we can uh, get the anti-air going on that as well. So we are turning. 
we have our chappy going here okay so we didn't get hit by the torpedo so that's cool uh, group two is here oh our guys didn't get a drop on him so so that's fine so we will come round and get ready to uh, hit this guy two needs to come over here and take care of those fighters uh, Nagato's got some decent anti-aircraft but but uh, it's not you know it's not amazing uh, so it's nice we've got a hit on him <clears throat> which is good so our fighters are on him that's fine uh, we've got our bombers now the uh, the enemy carrier is about somewhere so we we've, we've taken his planes out so I don't know how much uh, health that Nagato has got left a decent amount uh, should be able to uh, get the bombers on him as well so here they come nice okay right so we're looking for the uh, the enemy carrier now here he is so let's see if we can uh, Oh, didn't get any flooding and we didn't get the kill okay never mind uh, group six you can come up and attack him group three you can also come up and attack him and f for us we will plot a course up here there we go right so yeah our guys are happily shooting down the planes we've shot down 14 planes so far sunk two boats done 54,000 damage um, it's not bad yep it's another plane we're getting ready for uh, a drop on this Ryujo Okay, two is out of ammunition. That's fine. So let's see if we can... Can we get a fire on the Ryojo? No, not lucky enough, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, four. You might as well start the uh, the long run-up. You never know. You might be lucky. Uh, about there. Drop the bombs. Go on. Give me a fire. Yes, we got a fire. Okay. That's good. Because now what we're looking for is uh, a torpedo strike on him. Because he will have put the fire out. And once we get the torpedo strike, we uh, we should hopefully yeah we should hopefully um, be able to flood him out but you know because I was doing that I wasn't paying attention up here and those torpedoes uh, yeah not done particularly well we're probably gonna have to uh, repair after that, oh no, we uh, we didn't get a we didn't get a flood, so that's not so bad. So this Ryujo is desperately trying to uh, get away, and he's now gone. So yep, yeah, there we go. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the numbers, shall we? Okay, so fifty-five thousand five hundred damage. Okay, that, that's not a huge number, granted, 
but it's not terrible okay they've definitely buffed the XP now granted this is a oh look top of the table 382 um, base XP so that's not terrible um, I don't know if we can see what uh, other people got but yeah you know we we sunk the uh, the fur attacker the emerald we did we did okay um, but then you you need to look at the credits really to kind of make your mind up yeah that's all the credits we got now I know this is a co-op but I would have expected more I really would have expected more you know three three hundred and eighty two base XP is not great when you look at the war spite here probably did less damage but unfortunately there's no way to, to be able to tell I don't think um, yeah so it's it's pretty pants, put it that way. The the um the economy is still kind of busted. Um, I, it's better than it was. I will give it that. But you know, for eight target hits, um, with torpedoes, eight. You know, that that's eight torpedoes. Eight, and we only got. 54,125 damage with all bombs dropped 47,000 with the torpedoes mm. it's I don't know I don't personally I don't I don't think it's there yet I don't think they've got uh, got it at a point where people will want to come back to carriers just yet um, you know people are coming back to, to try it to have a look and see what what they're doing oh, what did we get that for battle of dogger bank oh lovely thank you for the credits I'll, uh, I'll happily take them um, so yeah I, d I don't think that it's quite there yet hmm so hmm. that's my opinion anyway so let me know what you think uh, have you played some carrier games have you you know, experience the change in the economy, do you find it better? Or can you think of a reason maybe why the economy is different? You know, maybe you, you're you a smart one and I'm not. Maybe you can think why it's different. But uh, for me, it, it's a bit of a struggle. I don't mind playing them in co-ops, but yeah, if you play them in uh, random battles and the other carrier decides he wants to go and carry a snipe you you end up losing money end up losing credits playing the game um, even at tier 6 and yeah I, ca I can't be doing that I really can't I'd rather grind it up a bit in the uh, in the co-op and you know get all the modules unlocked and then once I've done that then maybe play a few random battles um, but I don't know I used to really love carriers but my love for them has waned it has you know, it just doesn't doesn't seem like they're making improvements to uh, CVs um, in the same way that they are all the other ships in the game maybe they're next for the love who knows who knows can only hope so anyway that's more than enough from me for now so uh, Thank you ever so much for watching, especially you, Lucian. Thank you. Um, if you enjoyed what you saw, then uh, you know where the like button is. Uh, if you're new to the channel, then give that subscribe button a little tap, and you can catch it every time I put a video out. And uh, yeah, the old comment section is there for you all to let me know. Um, exactly what you think about carriers in the game do you think they are getting the love they deserve or 
do you think they should be taking out the game altogether? All controversial. Um, yeah, let me know. But that's more than enough for me from now, so it's Kevin Random signing off. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next one.